Bitcoin cracking above 47K right now, currently at $47,093. It is Monday, January 8th. It's 4.58 p.m. And this is an additional market update video for today, given that Bitcoin made a new high, as well as a couple of the things that we had outlined the past months is happening as we speak. And now it's time to err on the side of caution. And we're going to dive into that in today's video. We're going to cover Bitcoin, the total crypto market cap, the altcoin market cap, total three and others, and kind of get a macro perspective of what's going on, what we can expect with the ETF announcement that's going to be made this week. And I think it's going to be made on Wednesday. So we're seeing more highs in anticipation of that approval, but we are reaching levels of caution in the FIB forecasting. So with Bitcoin, we have on the weekly chart, a one week sell warning. And the past one week sell warnings and sell nows have nailed these like macro swings, the 2017 top, the 2019 bottom, the 2019 top the 2021 top, the 2022 bottom. And we have the sell warning, no sell now yet. So really on the weekly chart with Bitcoin, we're watching for that one week sell now. If that one week sell now flashes, we cannot turn our, we cannot turn our head away from it because of how accurate it has been the past six years, six years. So that's one thing. We have the sell warning, no sell now yet. So that's all good. Bitcoin at 47,120, 130 right now. But as you can see, what we did was we broke out of this 786 back here in October and we smashed right up to that 1618 extension on the medium fib, which so happens to coincide with the 4236 extension of the micro fib of this 786 right here. And we smashed through it and we're waiting for this 2618 extension to get hit. And we did it today. So we hit 47,284. And where could we, you know, be headed next for Bitcoin? Are we gonna go to the moon to all time high? And in my opinion, I think we're closer to a cool off than most are expecting, or maybe most people are expecting it. But yeah, as far as these levels, like we're right back here from March of 2022, our fall off point with the Luna debacle happening here. So like we're at the 2618 extension and we're close to hitting the macro bull market top to bear market bottom 786 here at around 50K, 50K. And then we have the purple moving average right here at around 51 and a half K. So like where we're at right now, I mean, I see limited upside as far as where Bitcoin is at. I mean, we could press up another seven to 10%, but it's getting a lot more riskier here um, than it was back here when we we're calling an imminent bull market and that's what we're seeing. So for Bitcoin, we're watching the one week sell now signal. We're putting this trend line, we're dragging it up like that and making it very, very steep. So as long as Bitcoin can maintain this trend of going up like this without flashing a sell now signal, then direction is up. But if we turn over, it's likely we're going to flash that sell now in tandem with, with hitting, with breaking below this trend line. And that's going to be a period where you likely want to be out of the market at that point. Us hitting this 2618 extension, uh, we could have already hit our top today, to be honest, because I've always said when you break a 786, it's likely you're going to go up to that 2618 extension at the very least. If we have enough juice and we have a lot of momentum, you could reach out to the 43618, the 4236, but you're likely going to gravitate to that four, that 2618. And we just hit it today. So as far as altcoins go, I'd be very cautious and kind of cautiously optimistic as far as them, because like if Bitcoin has a substantial correction, the altcoins will have a substantial correction as well, too. And we'll cover the altcoin market cap as well to see kind of where we could fall to if we do fall. But as far as Bitcoin goes, we hit that 47K. We hit the bottom side. We said 47 of 51K. Um, and we hit the bottom side. So if we can melt up through 47K, we go to 48K, it's likely we could tap very quickly 50K. And maybe the, the ETF announcement, it's approved. And then it has one last little spike up to sucker everybody in, and then it rolls over. But either way, a denial of the Bitcoin ETF, I, I see a correction. An approval of the Bitcoin ETF, I see a correction. Unless in, in a turn of events, 
we see Bitcoin actually just get rocket fuel from it and just fire up, fire up, fire up. I would say that's a more unlikelier scenario unless if that scenario plays out, then we have a, another 2020, 2021 bull market at our hands where it will likely be a short lived bull market, just like back here where it was just straight up. Because we do have to come back down, retest in the 32, maybe even 30K area. We got to come back down and retest this kind of breakout if we're going to have a sustained bull market rally and like mega hyper cycle, right? Where we go on for years until 2025 for the bull market. But if we just keep on chugging our way up, we get above 50K, we're holding that support and we're riding this trend line up um, all the way till May then we could see a short-lived cycle and maybe it's just a triple top of us hitting 70K again, maybe a little higher, 80K, and then we roll over. If that's the case, if that's a scenario, altcoins will continue to fire up and it'll be a melt up like no other. But if we do see a correction here, I do see altcoins taking a, a little bit of a beating, but upon Bitcoin finding its ground and kind of leveling off being stable or even kind of coming back up, I think the altcoins will start to rapidly outperform Bitcoin. And the next thing that I see happening is an Ethereum spot ETF. If the Bitcoin ETFs is approved, the next narrative will be the Ethereum spot ETF. And this could be a bull run full of narratives of just like the next coin that's going to get a spot ETF approved, right? So I do see a shift um, from Bitcoin to Ethereum after we hit, I mean, we already hit our first level, but if we hit these levels over here, I do see a shift happening. So Bitcoin where it's at, it's all good for now, but we're at an intense period of caution. We do see the MACD printing dark green again. We do see the stock RSI cross up. We could have our blow off phase here, but keep in mind this weekly candle just started. So like this could, you know, turn into a red candle real quick. It's, you know, all eyes on this ETF decision, which I think is happening Wednesday. I remember back in 2018, I've been here for a bit that that was the narrative at that time. And six years later, it's finally happening. So it's definitely a big event to happen in the crypto space that legitimizes it. But that doesn't mean that the price action won't kind of correct and have, you know, hold back to. So what I'm expecting is, you know, if we have that approval, we'll come up here and maybe kind of go sideways and then we'll roll back over, have our bigger correction, and then we can work our way up like that. If we have an approval uh, and we just keep firing up like that, you know, then all coins will just keep firing up as well too. If we have that last spike and then we come back down and go sideways like this, we could see all coins outperforming during that time. And then ultimately when we do have that correction back down, that steep correction to retest that base, that's when it'll be a bloody day. But that doesn't mean if Bitcoin comes up to 52K or 50K and then that all coins won't perform well. I think they'll perform well during that time, but then it could have a steep correction. Bitcoin, all coins will get hit. If Bitcoin moves sideways, all coins could, you know, outperform during that time. But ultimately when we break down, that will be a blood day. That'll be a blood day. So as far as Bitcoin goes, we're watching that one week sell warning. We're watching the short term trend line. We're watching the next level. We are, if we can get above 47,300, hold that support, then the next level is around 40, 50K. And we're in this caution zone, this caution period. Um, so that's what we're watching. And then with the ETF news, a denial, we're going to dump an approval. It's likely we'll have a shoot up and then come back down. And then at that point, we need to decide whether that sell now comes in or if we're riding this trend line, whether we're going to have a 2020 to 2021 bull market, just all out, just green bean stock up with no substantial dips, or if we're going to have a more kind of elongated cycle where we come back down, retest, and then we kind of chug our way back up like that. So that's for Bitcoin. If we look at the total crypto market cap, the total crypto market cap has, um, you know, a little more room to go. So maybe this is where Ethereum f fills in. Like as far as where Bitcoin's at, Bitcoin's at up here in comparison to the total crypto market cap. So like if the total crypto market cap were to catch up, that puts it around 2.12 to 2.3 trillion with the market cap only at 1.7 trillion right now. And that's another 25 to 35% move. And that could be Ethereum catching up to Bitcoin. And then we see all the altcoins you know, rally up, but like nothing outperforming really if Ethereum that much. And then we see once Ethereum kind of cools off, hits its 786. Let's go to Ethereum. 
then we can see that money start to fill in to the altcoins. So for Ethereum, it's 786 is from this high over here down to the low that we set is around 3,300. So maybe Ethereum goes up to 3,300 next, adds a thousand dollars to its price. That brings the total crypto market cap up a little higher. And then we see the altcoins, you know, pick up some steam too to add on to that total market cap as well. So the target up there is to, yeah, around over 2 trillion, 2 to 2.2 trillion for the total crypto market cap. If we go to the weekly chart, we can see that, you know, we're, we're crossing up here. I do see one little more push um, across the board here. So I don't think the, the world's going to end tomorrow and that these coins are going to dump off a clip. It's just a time to be more cautious because the clear trend back in October when we were saying imminent bull market to max 100 days was that we had this event to happen in January. And now that we're here, we, we've had that imminent bull market in Bitcoin and a lot of altcoins. But now that we're here, we have to assess the situation and see what the, you know, the next direction could be. Because back when Bitcoin was 24K, it was clear that, hey, at this time in the cycle, we have to go up to these levels. Plus we have a catalyst and a narrative to match with it. Direction is up. But now that we're up at around 47K, we've got to assess the situation. So with the total crypto market cap where it's at, if we were to correct down, then I see it coming back down to around at the lowest 1.18 trillion because that's where we found our support back here in the 2021 bull market. We broke down from this point, rejection, rejection, rejection. We broke through it. We went. So that's kind of in line with the top of the belly of the beast as well, too, and our 200 moving average on the weekly chart. So that's going to be a big area to add and back up the truck if we were to fall to that level. But as far as I'm concerned, we have weekly sell warnings, no sell nows yet. And as long as we can maintain this short term trend line like this and continue to ride up, you know, we're good. We're good. So the three day chart, we're holding this trend line clearly. Our next targets would be 1.8 trillion. If we can smash above there, we're going to head up to 2 trillion. But yeah, so we need to see that momentum come in on the three day chart. We are starting to see a cross up. Um, but it could be something that's short-lived, short-lived. We don't want to be caught off guard with that. Also, too, on the monthly chart for the total crypto market cap, I want to throw on the bonus indicator with the void lines because this is huge as well, too. Because if we take a look here, so what I was saying about the 786, usually we go to the 2618 extension. We haven't quite reached there yet, which is around 1.8 trillion. But also, look at these void lines opening up. So these are kind of like the Bollinger Bands. So you can see that these void lines are opening up wide and we're pressing on the top of the void lines in the total crypto market cap. Us getting above 1.8 trillion holding monthly candle body closes above there to me signifies that we're heading into a all out mania parabolic rally across the board. As long as we're below that, it's definitely cautious. We're cautious until we break above 1.8 trillion on a monthly candle close and hold bodies above it. We are seeing positive, like we're at the beginning, guys. Like look at that cross up of the monthly chart, TSI. It's everything we want to see. We're in the early stages. Doesn't mean we can't have a correction back down because even the monthly chart, this 50 moving average coming up here, the 21 moving average curling as well too, and then the previous support resistance, you know, that would be the level we'd come to on a, a bloodbath type of dip if there was an event or something like that. So that's where I'd be looking to add if we're going to have any substantial correction, and then I would say another level that maybe we tap to and we don't extend to 1.18 is 1.27, 1.27 1 trillion. So as long as we can, you know, maintain this trend line and press up through 1.8 trillion, we hold that support, then we could have a this type of rally 2020 to 2021. And notice that in these type of bull market intense rallies. The top, our top void line band on the monthly chart is going to be our best friend because the moment that we break out of it is the start of our bear market. Notice how we're riding in it, riding in it, parabolic rally. You know, as long as the monthly candle body closes our in the top void line band, it's up. It's like up in a big way. But as soon as we close out of it, um, then we correct. And then here we're pressing up into it. We press up into it. We're in it, in it, in it. We have a monthly candle out of it. It's over. It's over. So we're at the beginning phases. And once you start seeing green bean stocks like that, right on the top of the void lines, you know we're, we're in it 
we're in it. But you can see that the void lines are opening up wide, a big move. We could be on the precipice of a big move. It's a matter of if we're going to have this bull market play out like 2020, 2021, where it was just straight up, or if we have some corrections along the way. So that's what we're watching for right now. But all as well as far as the macro trend, that we're, we're at the start of the big bull run for a lot of these altcoins. But as far as Bitcoin goes, we're, we're already up there in a, in a big way at 47K. But let's look at the altcoins because the altcoins hit their target from this rectangle here around 530 billion, which was our 2618 extension as well too. We had a correction come in on, and we have a 10 day sell warning. Usually when the 10 day sell now comes in, it's over. All coin run is over. We, we can have sell warnings this whole way up, but when that sell now comes in, top, top, and then they call the bottom here. So we had our first 10 day sell warning. We could be either in this phase right here. We had the 10 day sell warning. We cool off, come down, go up again. So that is where we could be, or we could be here. That 10 day sell warning came back down and then we fired up again. So in my opinion, when we see another 10 day sell warning come in, that's when the altcoin market is going to heat up again in a big way. Because if you notice here, 10 day sell warning came in, we kind of cooled off, no sell now. 10 day sell warning came in, we had another big press up higher than this high, we cooled off. And then we had another 10 day sell warning come in and a ton of them. And that's when we really went into our parabolic all out mania phase for the altcoins. So that's what I'm watching there. In comparison to Bitcoin, these altcoins would be at around 743 billion to 843 billion in the market cap. So as you can see, there's a long way to go up here for these altcoins, a lot more room to go. So in my opinion, Bitcoin is not the spot to be at this point. It's the it's these altcoins, these blue chip altcoins, because across the board, the whole total altcoin market cap has another 55% to 76% to catch up to where Bitcoin is currently at. So altcoins have a lot more room to go. It's just the early phases with them. And if we were to correct more for altcoins, this is a level where I'm seeing 400 billion for the altcoins, which is another, which is at current levels a 20% move down, 15, 20% move down. We could, yeah, 20%. I, I could see for the altcoin market cap, if we're gonna have a steeper correction. I don't wanna see us go back into the belly of the beast. If we do go back into the belly of the beast, it's likely we have a C19 type of black swan event happening and we could see you know, a sell-off, a sell-off, sell-off. So that's what we're going to be watching. If we get into the belly of the beast, we have candle body closes within it. We're getting very, very cautious at that point and assessing what's going on in the markets and in the streets and the tweets. So that's what I'm seeing there. And we need to reclaim back above 530 billion. And it's likely we'll quickly come up to around 653 billion to 745 billion, 750 billion, where that purple moving average is as well too, which will be a substantial move across the board for all these altcoins, double digit gains across the board. Then others, so the others market cap, we have our five day sell warnings here. And then, but no sell now yet. What's very crucial about this chart is for us to maintain above this 200 moving average here on the five day chart. Cause as you can see back in 2022, we came to it, tried to hold it as support. We couldn't, came back up, got rejected by it. Even over here, we got hung up a little bit, held it as support with can of body closes, came back down once, twice these past 10 days as far as correction goes and have maintained above it and with wicks above it as well too. So like that level is, 190 billion we must hold for the other's market cap. And if we fall through it, then the next level we're likely to retest is right here, which is 131 billion, which will be a massive, incredible buying opportunity to buy all coins on the very cheap because that was our past levels of support back here in the 2020, 2021 bull market, our level of resistance in 2022, 2023. As soon as we fired up through that level, we just fired up. We have our five day 50 moving average to coinciding with that level. And that's our 786 as far as our low to our high up here is our 786. So that's where I'd be looking to add if we have a steeper correction here. But so far, so good. I mean, in the short term, we're holding these key levels. All eyes are on Bitcoin and the announcement this week and the impact that is going to have on the market. But I'll be keeping people updated in the Discord. Link is in the bio. Come join the Discord as far as in the moment, breaking news, what I'm seeing pan out as far as the advent of this announcement and what I'm seeing across the board with these macro charts for the others total altcoin market cap, total crypto market cap, and Bitcoin as far as that goes. So for the Stargate VIPs, you have this 2024 moonshot template with the belly of the beast, the fit forecaster levels, throw it up, 
and then mark alerts at these price levels because we're, we're entering a period of caution as far as that macro 786. That's the big final boss for Bitcoin to break up through and hold that support for price discovery. So we're at the we're in the heat of the moment, guys. So I'll be in the Discord. Link is in the bio. Come join it. I'll be keeping people updated in there with any further things that I'm seeing play out on the charts and XRP, XLM, all the altcoins as well too. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in the Discord. Link is in the bio for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.